Gents. Today we're taking a look at another dress shirt company. We're taking a look at Kamakura Shirts. This is another one in my long line of dress shirts that I'm working on right now to give you a really good sense of the dress shirt market from an overall sense. And uh, I'm looking at over a dozen companies and this is just another one of them. This one came from the recommendations from you guys. I always listen to my subscribers, so if you're already subscribed, thank you. If you're not, please do to learn about the best menswear on the internet. Give a thumbs up because that really helps these videos. And make sure you're signed up for my latest giveaway up here. This one I'm going to mostly lean on you guys because um, I wouldn't have seeked this company out on my own. I've researched them, I've looked them up, and I've learned about the process and everything. But I really don't even know if this shirt will fit. They have a very odd sizing structure, which I tried to put in my measurements, and they have this um, fit area where you put in your measurements and it spits out your size. And when I did that, they said no size available. So I don't even know this is gonna fit, but I'll talk about uh, just the fact that it's a little bit of a confusing company to, to start out with. They don't really have a cohesive website. I think it might just be a cultural thing. Websites are designed differently in each region. And on this one, it's a little confusing to figure out what's the Tokyo fit, what's the New York fit, what are the sizes, everything's in centimeters. There is no real easy way to convert to inches. And so I tried my best to get this shirt and uh, let's dive in and take a look. Another thing I'll talk about, which is uh, a little bit behind the scenes, is I, I get I get dozens of companies recommended to me every week and it's tough to keep up with. But when multiple people recommend the companies on different videos, I also get emails about them. Then I have like a, almost like a ranking system where they bump up each one. And so I know a lot of you guys might feel that you've commented and I haven't reviewed the companies, but that's just because uh, I'm working through my best here. So the other thing to note too is that they do not have a distribution center in the US. This is a shipping from Japan. They have free shipping over $138. Most of their shirts are $130. So if you buy one shirt, like me, you'll be paying shipping, which was $12. Uh, so this came through the Japan Post. They say thank you for shopping with Kamakura shirts. And let's get right in. If you saw my previous three videos, uh, you'll know that I have something is going on with pink right now. I've ordered a lot of pink. I'm wearing a pink shirt right now. So this will probably be the last pink shirt I open up for a while. But this is the shirt Tokyo Slim Fit Pink. It was $99. Uh, so this wasn't one of their uh, $130. And it almost looks uh, purple. So this is fine European fabrics, slim fit. Uh, and what it says here on the tag is this is a 15 and a half, 34 and a third sleeve length, which might fit. This is the 3987 fit, if that helps you. Feels pretty good. Let's try it on. I don't know if you could tell how skeptical I was at the top of the video, but uh, the sleeves fit well. The slim is slim, and the material feels very nice. I can't find this shirt on their website. I ordered it a few weeks ago. I don't know where it is, but it's a medium weight fabric and I can't find the exact name for it. So I'm sorry about that. Also on the video, it, it doesn't really look pink. It almost looks like a gray. It doesn't look pink in real life either. It's almost like a purple, but I don't remember what the picture looked like. So I can't really give you good guidance on there. The material though is a very nice, sturdy, medium weight knit fabric. It's not their knit line. I can't, find, I can't find any of it on my website. But I also like to have a variety of collars in my collection and I like these button downs as well. They look really good casual or if you wear like a knit tie with it then it looks really nice. I am impressed with the shirt overall. I'd be interested to check out some of their other shirts. They do talk about using the highest quality materials, fabrics and materials being precisely cut, high quality buttons which they use. Usually I try to give some guidance on sizing but this is really tough for this company because I didn't even know if this would fit me properly. They do have a fit guide on their website where you can enter things in. So if you're curious about Kamakura shirts, they came pretty quickly through the Japanese post. This shirt feels very high quality and it was only $99. They have higher tiers of shirts, which are 130 and 180 respectively. And so you might have a really good find if you're looking through their shirt collection. Like I said at the top, if you have any questions, please comment below so that I can answer them for you. I've, I had a, quite a few of you guys re request this one and so I think you guys might have some more comments than I was able to answer in this video, but I figure I'd keep it short and sweet and then let you guys ask. Stay tuned for the best menswear on the internet. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter if you have any suggestions. Always keep those coming as well. I have my running list. I'm working through them. This is one off, checked off. And until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.
It's been one week since you looked at me. Threw your hands in the air and said I'm crazy. Five days in the living room. I realized it's all my fault, but I tell you yesterday you've forgiven me. Now it's two weeks to the police. Say I'm sorry. Hold me now, what you hoodwink. Gonna make a stop thing. You think you're looking at Aquaman? A salad dish, shama da 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 I have a tendency to wear my mind on my sleeve. I have a history of losing my shirt. It's been one week since you